If you want to do an SEM Rush website analysis, it's actually quite simple. Uh, basically, all you need to do is pull up your SEM Rush, log in. You'll need an account, which I'll leave a link in the description where you can get a free trial account and be able to use all these features I'm going to show you here. But basically, once you're logged in, let's say this is your website or maybe it's even a competitor's website. All you do is come up to the top bar and insert the URL in there click search and then that's going to pull up the domain overview which is this first section here uh, you can see for this website you'll be able to actually see all of their SEO local SEO advertising which is going to be like Google Ads social media and different things are doing on social media so there's all sorts of different tools that you'll be able to dig into Typically, though, if you're wanting to analyze a website, you're wanting to see how it's ranking, right? And to do that, you can start in this domain overview section. You'll have, it's too much data for me to go through all of it, but um, you'll have the authority score, which is essentially an indication of how authoritative the website is based on backlinks and different signals. There organic search traffic so they're getting about 361 searches a month from google you can see their keyword distribution um, and with all this stuff anything that's highlighted in blue basically you can just click on it so if we wanted to see how much organic search traffic or what keywords they were getting their organic search traffic from so we could just pull this up really quick and basically it's going to give us an overview of what's happening here so we can see Phoenix Electrician is basically what they're getting a majority of their traffic from. And this is going to rank based on their traffic percentage, which is calculated by where they rank. So if they're position number three and there's 720 searches a month, then they're going to get about 16 visitors to their site every month, roughly. So it does all those calculations. That's how it figures out. Um, this other number where it's saying that there's 361 organic visitors per month because each position on Google gets a pretty predictable number of clicks so you can just do some math and kind of figure out what traffic somebody's getting based on their rankings and we'll be able to see a timeline so we can go all time and can kind of see how they've built things up over time this is their organic traffic and you can see in the beginning they were running more paid traffic and then after they got ranked they probably shut that off and now it's just all organic you can also see their um, their keyword rankings so their distribution how many terms are in the top three spots versus 10 through 4 versus 11 through 20 and so on as well as where they're getting their traffic so this is Phoenix, Arizona, which is in the United States. So it's probably getting basically all of its traffic from the United States. And then this is a kind of a cool feature. The SERP feature is going to help see where they're ranking. So they actually have quite a few images that are ranking. Like 30% of their rankings are images. Uh, and then their website is ranking for a number of terms. Image pack again. And then their maps, like the local pack, so it's going to be their Google Maps is ranking. They have some knowledge panels. So when you do a search on Google, there's a whole bunch of different results that show up now. It's not just websites. There's maps listings, there's shopping stuff, there's structured snippets. People also ask questions, images, tons of stuff. Like these are the people also ask questions here. And so... Uh, featured snippets these are really common people want to go after featured snippets because you basically get like a big section of the top of the front or the first page so you'll be able to see where they're actually ranking because if they're getting most of their traffic from their images it might not be that great of traffic anyways um, and then this traffic distribute or the organic distribution will typically be it will look something like this where a majority of the terms that you rank for are like you know after position 50 and then it'll become fewer and fewer terms until you get to the terms that are in the top three spots on google and that's kind of the high traffic zone so to speak and then anything from four to ten is good to have but it's not going to be doing anything really crazy so 
really all you're focused on is getting more into position number one through three if you're doing SEO. So you'll be able to kind of track where your site or where your competitor's site is here, just really nice. And then you'll be able to see the top organic keywords, keywords by intent. So a lot of people are looking for information about electricians in Phoenix is what it looks like. So tons and tons, again, I there's I, we could sit here and go through all this <laughs> for days, but the, the thing is, all you really need to know is all, you sign up for the free trial. If you don't already have a SEM Rush account, just click the link below. You can get signed up for a free trial. You'll be able to then take whatever URL you want to do an analysis on, whatever website analysis you want to perform. Take that website, drop it in here, click search, and then you'll be able to dig into um, tons of different stuff. Actually, I don't think we'll be able to do the keyword gap. So I won't go too far into it, but if there's anything you did have questions about in terms of SEM Rush website analysis or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.